Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 38. Today we're talking hip flexors, and specifically we're differentiating in between your psoas muscle and your quad muscles. Both of them do hip flexion, uh, but they're stretched a little bit differently. As you can see, I have Quadzilla here. Figure nobody else better than to bring in Quadzilla herself <laughs> to talk about how we differentiate between psoas and hip flexors. She's been nice enough to come down here. She's on spring break, or I guess summer break. Going back to sunny San Diego. Uh, might be stalking Lauren Fisher, I don't know. <laughs> something out there. Either way, she's obviously an awesome crossfitter because they drink something else different in the water there. Anyway, the first uh, mobilization that we're gonna do is specifically for the psoas. Now the psoas is a muscle that connects to your back, but on the inside portion of your back. So it comes up your spine, there's these little digits that come out off your, off your vertebrae there, and they connect there, and then they come down into the inside of your leg. And its primary job is just to flex the hip. So this is how we stretch it. What we're gonna do is we got this little nugget rumble, rumble roller thing. We're gonna put it on the side of a box. The, the place that we're trying to get to is we put one finger on our belly button, one finger on that hip bone right there. We're gonna go right between them, and that's the spot that we're gonna put the rumble roller. So for her, we're gonna bring Sarah down here, come around to the side. She already did that, she knows where that spot is. She's gonna flex her hip and allow that ball, flex her hip and allow that ball, that rumble roller to sink on in there. And then what she's gonna do is she's just gonna extend her knee and bring her toe to the inside like that and come on back, extend her knee, bring her toe to, her toe to the inside like that. She can move around in between each set finding the, the hot spot. Now as you start to mobilize there, you're gonna spend about two to four minutes on both sides, okay? When we move on to the quad, what we're going to do is use a foam roller. Oh, by the way, guys, forgot to tell you. Not everybody has one of these awesome little things. So if we don't, you're going to take your lacrosse ball, get a two-pound weight, throw it on top of there. Works just the same way, right? Moving on. We got our quads over here for Quadzilla herself. Here's what we're going to do. Everybody does this stretch the same way. Go ahead, get on. Uh, like, they think that they're rolling out the quad itself and they just keep their legs straight. What we want to do, are you going to do that side? Just control them, just do that side. What we want to do is we want to talk and make the tissue talk first. So we're going to enhance this by having her stretch her quad first, make these tissues taut, and then we're going to allow her to roll the same way. Same exact thing, guys. We're going to spend about two to four minutes on both sides preparing the tissue to stretch. So we just smashed. Next thing we got to do is stretch. Come on back up. We're gonna stay on the box for that. And what we have here is a two-part stretch all in the same thing. Come on, jump up here. With the psoas, the leg is gonna stay straight because it only goes across one hip joint, or one joint, the hip. So we can keep the leg itself straight so that the quad doesn't take up all the slack and we can get a better stretch on the psoas itself. So, we bring Sarah here, have her internally rotate her toe, bring her toe into, to, to the inside. And what we want to see is, you see, if we picture her pelvis as a bucket, we want to see her pull, pull the bucket upwards, like this. Too many people, they'll get really far out here, and then they'll arch their back like such. Not gonna do anything with that, okay? I would rather see you come in the stretch less, just find that barrier of resistance, and then pull the pelvis up like you're taking a bucket that's, dip, that, that's tipped over in the front, and leveling it out. Now, if we want to emphasize the quad, we're going to stay right in the same spot, except all now she's going to do is grab her leg, stretch out that quad. Now she's able to stretch over both joints. She's got a flexed knee, an extended hip. She's going to do the same exact thing, pull up. Take about three seconds per contract, relax cycle, do about 30 a side, and then you'll have hip smashed, and stretched for psoas and quad. Until next time, we're optimizing function to optimize performance. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs>